so here we are outside because I don't have a good indoor space with ventilation to do this <coughs> I've set the uh, minis up on a cardboard box I just happened to have some cut cardboard pieces which are perfect for this purpose so I set them on top of the box notice that I give a lot of space before priming uh, I use uh, army painter in this case I'm using uh, uh, army green uh, oh, nice that I always do this when there's a lot of wind as you can see uh, the reason I use the uh, the army painter is I don't have to regular white or black primer do the job uh, but green primer just makes it so much easier because I have far less painting to do and it pretty much gets a nice even coat uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. now the astute members of the audience will notice that uh, the box is now in a different position uh, that's because, quite honestly, I underestimated the wind on this tall box, which, if you look, you can see is uh, not insubstantial. So, uh, when I put up the minis to uh, spray, uh, the wind knocked the box right down, smacked them up, and I had to re-glue them all again. And then uh, when I put those aside and figured I'd do the second ones because it was going real quick, same thing happened. Uh, just wheels popping off and such, but it you know cost me a little time. So now I've got it low to the ground. I've got a wind block, and I'm going to spray them. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Now uh, got the can properly shook. I just didn't bother with showing it to you. Notice that I'm uh, moving back and forth fairly quickly to get an even coat. Uh, and I do this from the compass points relative to the mini give a nice even coating. Sometimes this requires a, more than one pass. But as you can see it uh, does a pretty decent job. Oops. There we go. Kind of overdoing it on the Churchill there because it wasn't getting a good call. Make sure to get down uh, at the ground level here. Yeah, this is uh, <clears throat> things, things that aren't supposed to be like the wheels and such, but you know, the goal here is to, to have some nicely started minis. Uh, and I'm just doing a little walk around here to make sure everything looks good. And as you can see, you now have a pretty green vehicle, uh, which once we, now we just basically detail with color, and uh, then we do the, the shade, and it'll look pretty nice, you'll see. So let's let these dry.